Hey guys, how is it going? So today's lesson is a little bit different because we're not doing a normal English lesson, but I'm going to show you how to cook something from Britain. We're going to learn some British food and I really hope I can do a series of videos like this to show you all sorts of stuff that you can cook from where I'm from. So today we're going to do a beef wellington. A beef wellington is a fillet of beef which is wrapped around with pastry but there are a few more ingredients other than that. So the main things you need to make the beef wellington in terms of equipment is you need some cling film, that's very important. You also need some kind of blender, okay? Or you could just use a knife instead if you don't have a blender, but it's gonna take you a lot more time. You need as well one of these, you need a hob, and one of these, you need an oven. Uh, that's basically all of the equipment. So guys, here we have our beef fillet. So this is a really nice piece of beef. It's expensive, uh, but it's very lean and very, very tasty. So what I've done is I wrapped this beef fillet last night with cling film. So this plastic, we call it cling film. And you need to twist it like this and get it really tight so that you get the shape. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to sear this beef wellington. So if you sear a beef wellington, we basically fry it. So we fry it using a frying pan and I'm using uh, olive oil. So make sure you get a good amount of olive oil. If you say a good amount, it means a large amount. Of course, we need to turn on this and make sure it's very hot before you put your beef wellington in. So we're going to put the beef fillet into the frying pan and we're going to sear it. Let the beef fillet sear on one side for about 30 seconds and then you want to turn it and get it all um, brown on the outside. But at the end, you still want it pink in the inside because later we're gonna cook it another way using the oven. So you don't want to cook it too much when you're using the frying pan. Okay, you also wanna make sure you do the top and the bottom. So it's completely sealed. So if it's sealed, it's cooked all around the outside. Turn it off. And now you wanna let it rest and cool down a bit. So let it rest and cool down for about 15 to 20 minutes, okay? Okay, so now we're gonna make the mushroom du shells. Okay, so this I'm using a variety of different mushrooms. So I've got a couple of varieties of mushrooms. Any mushroom's fine. Uh, wild mushrooms are better and what I need to do is I need to make this into a paste which we're going to put on to our beef wellington onto our beef over there so I'm going to use this okay I'm going to use this to uh, chop it up finely so this is called a blender this is a hand blender which is not the best thing for doing this. If you can get a blender where you put the mushrooms inside, it's much better. But this is all I've got, so it's gonna take me a bit of work, but I should get there soon. Okay, so that is what we've got now, is we've got a paste, a kind of mushroom paste, but there's too much water in this paste at the moment. So what I need to do, again, is use the frying pan and, and again with a little bit of olive oil, just a little bit this time, and a spatula, this, this is a spatula, I'm going to put that, I'm going to scrape it in there. And I'm going to get the water out of here, okay? So I'm gonna put it in there for a few minutes. 
I'm going to add a little bit of black pepper, grind some pepper in there. And what I want to do is I want to keep this in here and really make it into a thick paste because I don't want liquid. I don't want too much water. And then we're going to have like a mushroom pate, a duchelle it's called. You can see the steam is coming out of that mushroom now. All of the water, uh, we don't want that. This is also going to intensify the flavor when we get the water out. It's gonna get it even more, it's gonna get be really tasty. So now we can see the mushroom de shells is pretty dry. So a lot of the liquid has come out of that and we've got like a, we've got like a paste, okay? A dry paste. So I can turn that off and I want to leave that for uh, 10, 15 minutes to cool down, okay? You need to let it cool down before going on to the next step of making the beef wellington. Right, the fun part, we're going to wrap our beef fillet. And first of all, I've put down a piece of clean film. So I've got my plastic here, that's very important. And as you can see here, I have got some ham. Now this is San Daniele ham, but you can probably find Parma ham, which is the same thing. And this is gonna keep all of the moisture inside the beef fillet. So what I do is I need to start taking some ham and I'm going to place it on my plastic here, okay, on my cling film. And you want to get the ham and you want to overlap it. It's very important that it overlaps, okay? So they stick together and it creates a, a layer between your beef and your pastry. Okay, so we have something like this. We have all of our ham laid down on the plastic wrap. Now I've got my mushrooms and I'm going to paste that on top of the ham. So I'm going to scoop it all on first. And then I'm going to start creating a paste all across my ham. I have the beef fillet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to transfer that and place it on top. I'm going to start wrapping the beef and twist and wrap it and get it tight, okay? So we want something like that. and it's all wrapped around with ham and mushrooms. And we, we wanna keep it, we wanna keep it in that shape, okay? So now what we're going to do is we've got our beef wellington, we haven't got the pastry on it yet, but now we wanna put it in the fridge for 20 minutes just to settle down and cool down inside as well a little bit, okay? So I'm gonna transfer this to the fridge and we'll find it again in 10 to 20 minutes. Okay, we're now gonna wrap, wrap it with the, um, the puff pastry. So this puff pastry is going to puff up, it's going to expand and get bigger. So if I unwrap this, you can see what I'm going to use. We place the beef, like this and again we want to now carefully wrap it ah it might be perfect and then where it finishes there we want to cut this here so i'm going to use my knife and cut the excess okay the extra pastry and pinch and twist. So I'm gonna draw a line down here 
and then I'm going to draw some lines like this. So it's going to give it a bit of a pattern. And I have prepared the puppy. We have to get the puppy on top. So we know this is the puppy beef wellington. And the last thing before we put in the oven is, because we want it to look golden uh, when it comes out, we need to add egg yolk. So I prepared a couple of egg yolks here. Now you should do this with a brush. I don't have a brush. So I'm going to get messy and do it with some uh, kitchen roll. So dip your kitchen roll in like that and then start painting. I'm happy with that. So what we're going to do now is we're going to put this in the oven. So the oven I put on Mark 200, so 200 degrees Celsius. And this wants to stay in the oven for 15 to 20 minutes. Remember, we've already cooked the beef a little bit and you don't want it, the beef to be cooked through and dry. You still want it a bit pink in the middle. So 15 to 20 minutes and we have a look to see what it looks like. Okay, so the moment of truth, let's slice this Wellington and see how it looks inside. Okay, there you go guys, so there's the Wellington. It's pink in the middle because I like it quite raw, but if you want it done more, just keep it in the oven a bit longer until it's uh, well done. Um, we've also got some gravy here, so this is a red wine jus that we're gonna put on top. We've also got roast potatoes and some asparagus. If you want to find the uh, recipe, you can find that in the description of the video and we're going to start eating. Okay, see you in the next cooking class.